Greetings, students. Welcome to uh, Happiness and the Meaning of Life uh, philosophy class. I think it's 1040 is, is the number. Uh, I've created a short introductory video to uh, welcome you and introduce you to the class. I've got uh, a couple of helpers today. To my right is uh, Abigail, and to my left is Alexander. You want to wave? And uh, they're, 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 they're going to go play in, in a couple of minutes, but they wanted to be in this video. Uh, they are four years old. They're, they are indeed twins. Uh, you can probably tell that by looking at them. And uh, hopefully they will be quiet for the rest of this video so that I can finish. Okay, guys, you can go play now. So look, here's what I'd like to do in this video. Uh, it's going to have three basic parts. Uh, I want to introduce myself and the class first. And then secondly, talk a little bit about the grade. And then thirdly, talk about the process of the course. Uh, in other words, how each unit of the class is going to progress. Uh, in terms of introductions, uh, you know who I am. I'm Dr. Schaefer. You can know my two kids. Uh, I just finished my 20th year at Xavier, which I really cannot believe that I've been here that long. Uh, uh, I, I, I love teaching at Xavier, I, I love living in New Orleans, and uh, I actually do enjoy teaching the summer classes. Uh, the online experience is definitely a little bit different. Uh, I would not say that I prefer the online experience, but I, I think we can make it work pretty well. A uh, little bit about the class. So uh, this class is designed to be an entry-level philosophy class, so that means that you don't need to have any experience in philosophy. You don't even need to know anything about it. Um, uh, you'll, 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 you'll get that, that introduction to philosophy during the course of the semester. But I do want to emphasize that the course is not meant to be a survey class. Okay, So the point is not to expose you or to introduce you to all the different aspects of philosophy, but rather the point is to focus in on a particular um, bundle of questions that revolve around happiness and the meaning of life. So among other things, you'll be reading some philosophical perspectives that try to answer the question, how should one live their life if, if they desire to seek happiness? Um, we'll get some perspectives on the meaning of life, uh, how to think that through, and I hope at the very least that this course will provide you some resources to uh, help you think through these things on your own. Obviously, happiness and the meaning of life, this is something that all of us are, uh, uh, are interested in as, as, as human beings. OK, uh, grade. So the grade calculation for this class is, is actually very simple. There are three parts to the grade. 50% uh, of your grade will come from quizzes and short writings. 20% uh, of your grade will come from discussion board posts and 30% of the grade will come from a critical essay that will be due at the very end of the semester. Uh, I want to emphasize a little bit the uh, quizzes and short writings since that is going to account for half of your grade. Um, so quizzes and short writings are two different things, but I'm going to um, put them into the same grade category. Uh, there will be about 10 total quizzes and short writings by the end of the semester, uh, and you will get to drop your lowest uh, grade on a quiz or short writing assignment. Uh, the key to doing well on these is really to, uh, to, to keep up with the work of the class. Uh, so you're, you're definitely going to need to do the readings in advance, uh, listen to the audio lectures, you know, take notes. Uh, when you read, take notes during the audio lecture, uh, and then also per participate actively on, on the discussion board. Uh, I think one of the key uh, um, ingredients to doing well in this class is, is to take the discussion board seriously. Uh, you know, you will, you will get credit for your discussion board posts uh, as long as you, as you follow the rules, which basically is to not miss the deadline and to make sure your posts are four sentences, uh, a minimum of four, four sentences. I'm not going to grade the content uh, of the discussion board posts. But if you put more work into the discussion board posts, that will pay off in your short writing grades, your quiz grades, and ultimately in your uh, critical essay grades as well. Okay, finally, process. So 
here's how the class will work as we move from one unit to the next to the next. So the first thing that you'll do for each unit is to do the assigned reading. Uh, the second thing that you'll do is to listen to an audio lecture uh, from me. Um, the audio lectures will be anywhere from, you know, maybe 10 minutes long to, you know, 15. I'm, I try to keep them relatively short. Uh, there, it's possible there may be multiple audio lectures for certain units. Uh, but those are the first two things that you'll do. Do the readings on your own, listen to the audio lecture. Uh, then you will move to the discussion board and begin doing your discussion board posts. And then finally, uh, at the end of each unit, uh, there will be a short writing assignment that'll, that'll be due. Uh, there may also be a quiz mixed in there somewhere, but the short writings will always come at the end and kind of serve as a culmination for, for each unit. Um, so if you uh, keep up with that work, um, um, you know, that, that will be the process. I, I think probably 15, to 20 hours of work each week is what you should expect if you intend to do well in the class. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Abigail, I'm about to sign off. You want to say goodbye to, to my students? Goodbye, everybody. Alexander says goodbye, too. I wish everybody a, a, a successful semester. I will see you uh, in virtual space. Bye-bye.